Oh shit. Ugh. Just pulled up to Barnes and Nobles. I'm gonna try to get a book for um, me and my daughter. I'm gonna try to um, see if there's some little things in here, you know. Uh, yeah, I was passing by. I said, man, let me get a new book. Because I, I got a Audible. And I be doing a lot of that audio reading while I'm at work and stuff. And uh, sometimes, you know, you just want to get away from that and read a book. So, yeah. Let's see what books they got up in here. I'm sure they... I'm sure I'll find something. I be going more towards the... I don't know. Y'all let me know if y'all read... What kind of reader are you? You know, there's some people that like Harry Potter, um, like fairy tale stuff. There's some people that read like learning about diseases, you know, those types of books, learning about diabetes, um, nonfiction, fiction, whatever, uh, MLB, sports, whatever. But me, lately, I've never really been into the fairy tales and stuff like that. Although I did get this book called Concrete Rose, and it was about, like, hood life and stuff, but it was like a fairy tale. But it was, like, real real stuff that goes on in the hood. It, it was a good book, but I'm more into the real stuff, and I'm more into, like, personal growth personal help stuff especially coming from where we come from coming from what I came from the I believe a lot of us have PTSD you know when I was uh three years old nah I would say five five not three maybe five it was so long ago but we was living at this house um these little duplexes Motherfucking like two in the morning. Thirty minutes to it felt like forever, really. Everyone get on the floor. Motherfuckers shooting out there. The police never even came. Like, damn. I'm on the floor. You know, you just hear shit. Cars getting hit up. Every car out there the next day. Every car. We looking, every car was shot the fuck up. I don't even know if anyone was hit, but no one in, the, in our house was hit. But you know what I'm saying? Like, as a kid, you should not be seeing any of that. And as a kid, I saw way too much. Let me just tell y'all that. As a kid, I saw way too much. Uh, and growing up, you know, people done did drive-bys while we outside the Boys and Girls Club. Like, where we from? Well, any ghetto around the world, anywhere, you know what I mean? Shit is real. And we end up with PTSD. We end up with depression, anxiety, the fear. You know what I mean? A lot of us is, is fear. You know what I mean? We all got fear in us and we don't want to die. So we carry guns. We, we do all that we can do to survive. So... I don't know. I believe I have a little bit of PTSD. Like, I have to have, you know, out the house. Sometimes you're looking out the window. It's like, and I, you know, I, I live a straight life now. I done got away from all that. But still, it's still in me, you know. But let me go up in here. That's a whole nother story, whatever. Let me go up in here and um, see what I can find. Get 
this book though. My daughter might like this one. I can move. Woo! Sorry, man. It's my bad, y'all. Yeah. Got this book for me. Hold on. I apologize. Jeez. Just got that book for me. It's okay not to be okay. I don't know why I'm looking over here. I need to look here. Damn. Let me turn this car on. The hell is my keys? Oh, man, I'm tripping. So I got this book. It's okay not to be okay. And it reads. Hold on. Ooh, hold on. I stopped it and I see a pretty little thing. Ooh, wee. And she parked right next to me. Man, how you doing, girl? She's smart. She here at Barnes and Nobles too. Distracting me, man. Damn. But anyways, that's why I'm here at Barnes and Nobles. I'm trying to uh, meet me a smart little thing. Somebody that's on the same stuff I'm on. That's on the same vibration as me. I need a woman on a high vibration. I need a woman that's on her shit. And just like, damn. Just like me. You know, I need a woman that's working. I need a woman that's gonna hold it down. You see what I'm saying? But anyways, I got this book and I got my daughter this book. She like little fairy tales. But uh, this reads, what's normal anyway? Into every life, some rain must fall. Nobody is fine all the time. If you are feeling down and struggling with serious problems, you are not alone. This clear and comforting guide is here to help you understand the mental health issues that can affect us all. And to help you look after your body, mind, and soul. Touching on a range of topics, including anxiety, depression, loneliness, stress, and self-esteem. This is a book for anyone and everyone who needs to go, who needs good advice, fresh ideas and kind words, you know, but you can't just read and just think you're going to be all right. You got to put this stuff in action. You feel me? After you read and you get some good knowledge, you go put that in action. You know, a lot of these books be telling you, you got to work out, meditate. Well, you got to do it. You know, you got to go to a park sit there you know it seemed weird but it worked i'm telling y'all a lot of y'all be tripping i think this is gonna be a good book you know i paid 11 12 dollars to get some knowledge or something you know i'm gonna get something out of this and um uh, my daughter some kind of big book but she needs to start reading more instead of just being on GTA stuff like that but yeah that was here at Barnes and Nobles for a little bit and uh they have some stuff in there they have a few books but I don't know maybe this cover something it just caught my attention it's telling me to get it especially I got stuff going on right now I got stuff going on I just need some something I like these little books. But, uh, yeah, man. The good old Barnes and Nobles log. Make sure y'all get out there and read. Get knowledge. And if you're a pretty little thing in Barnes and Nobles and you see me, you know, say what's up. Let's talk about some, some books. You know, 
Let's study together. <laughs> All right, y'all. Peace.